We're in the water. Oh, we're not. Oh, wait, where we at? <laughs> See, we could have been in the water, but you want to put this behind you. Okay, we're going to be in the water later on, but we have the astronaut in the water, and then we have... Are you first recording already? <laughs> I ain't been in here you so tell me long. to push record. I, I ain't been in here. When I talk, put me up here. When I, <laughs> I ain't been on here so long. I don't know what's going on. I said, oh, we done press record already. I got to get to it. We keeping all this in here. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's a good little intro. Yeah. So we got Payway T.O. and a, a guy. I don't know who he is, but I seen this, okay? So the guy said, how we move it? <laughs> Do I move this? Yeah. Oh, you guys can see it now. Uh, she wanted to do with so his homegirl wanted to collab with Cinco and T O kicked her out the live. And he's calling T O out to box. Who's who's calling who out the box? You see this dude. Yeah. And then this is a clip we gonna watch. Her his homegirl is on I guess a fan of Cinco. Oh, so AJ Creed is clout chasing. One hundred percent. Okay, you know me. I'm gonna get straight to it. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. What's the fuck, man? You stupid, man. Yeah. Why did? Yeah, don't be on my name for real. Oh shit! Just, just, just let me know. I DM'd you. You act like you don't want to take nobody back. No, I can hit you. I'm not no, you're not gonna hit me. You don't got a lot. So that's pretty much it. Like T.O. or somebody kicked. You can't tell who booted her out the live, but she got booted. And then her friend, her guy friend, tags T.O. and say, calls him out the box. And then T.O. say, I'm cool, little bro. You look slow. Oh, no. AJ. So who is the, what is the He's, girl and AJ? What is they're just that girl Cinco, and AJ Creed have anything? To, what, is, what are you talking about? So Jay Cinco is yeah. a YouTuber. I know who Jay Cinco <laughs> is, man. Jay well, don't do me like that. I know who Jay Cinco okay, is. So sometimes they go live and then they invite the fans to just chop it up with okay. Jay Cinco. So she was a supporter. Yes. And, and it wasn't feeling her. Yeah. And I they guess cut that. her off. I seen that. But I thought so he, he, I thought AJ had something to do with this. Cause he probably seen it or he know about it. So mm -hmm. it's like, hey, you kicked my homegirl out the live. I want a box now. Set it up. Don't be scary. T.O. said, I'm cooler, bro. You look slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny but let's be honest though like this dude is he's clearly clout chasing it's the, the, he reaching though like see let me let me help y'all out because you know we got a content management service that allows us to help you guys out aj creeds and the people out there that's just reaching for the stars you're reaching for a type of clout that you have not been able to obtain you know why because you ain't putting in the work now if i went over to your youtube channel and i seen that you ain't got nothing going on you ain't posted in nine months and you ain't on instagram posting and everything's sporadic and you posting your meal then you posting your time at the gym but you ain't making no vlogs and nothing like that you need to hit us up because you just need some direction a lot of people want to be youtube famous and they think this is gonna work i'm cool little bro you look so you just got humiliated and you're not going to get no clout from this. If anything, you're going to get some hate. So this was the wrong thing to do right here, AJ Creed. I'm just saying. Come on, man. Oh, let's box, little bro, because she just wanted to collab. Like, this year? I didn't hear that. Did you hear that? That's what I'm saying. It didn't even make sense when you came at him. She just wanted to collab. Nah, she wanted Jay Cinco to hit her up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, hit her up. You know what the hit her up means? Hit her up. All the way. I'm just saying, that's what it meant. But Brooklyn Queen got that on lock currently. Oh, sorry, they're besties. Brooklyn Queen. Speaking of Brooklyn Queen, Jay Cinco said he don't care about Brooklyn Frost. Wow, he is collabing with Brooklyn and T.O. Let's take a listen. It would be, it would be like you're stuck on your... Okay, let's... You're let's stuck adjust, on your past. Let's adjust this. Every song I make... It do, you feel me? Of course it do be talking about my past. But I don't be stuck on this shit. You feel me? It just, and then they, I'm a rap. I'm, I'm telling you how it is coming No, I know, I'm just suggesting it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna address that. You feel me? So when it comes off that way, it's gonna rub right the fuck off when it come on you. What I'm saying is, I just express my. I put. You feel me? I don't rap about Lambos and shit. I rap about the shit I've been through. So therefore, when I make music, I can tell that story in ten different ways. Every time I make a song, just because it's my trauma, I'm just rapping about what I've been through. You feel me? I don't give a fuck about that woman. Respectfully, I'm not stuck on that woman. That's good. This is just music. That's great. But, I hmm. mean, I couldn't, you couldn't put yourself in a female's shoes. You would never understand. No, I understand. No, I can Pause understand that. how that may look. Yeah. But I completely understand what she's feeling and what he's feeling. I don't, see, I don't even know. This probably was like a Q&A, so I don't even know what was asked for her to say, you know, for the, how y'all talking about Brooklyn? Like, what was the question? Oh yeah, it, because, it, was, it like, was about the music. Why are you making? Why are you still making songs about your ex? Yeah, but like he's probably able to make songs about her now because he's probably over her. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like I once you get over her. it, now he's like, he can make music and then make money off of it. So that's what he's looking at. He's like, yeah. look, he's a, yeah, he's a real life Jennings type dude. Like he's yeah. talking about his real life. Some rappers don't. They just talk about you know, weird stuff and Lil Nas X type of stuff. Let's see what <laughs> Brooklyn seems. <laughs> Brooklyn seems uh, irritated. Like she She's, still don't understand. Like why? No, she's not gonna understand her emotions. Right but now. I'm just letting it be known it ain't that. Just because if anybody ever, because they do people be thinking that shit. Like nah, bro. Like niggas just rapping, bro. That's that's what I do. I mean, I'm an artist. I understand that. Oh, okay. Like, on. That oh, okay. Brooklyn Queens an artist too. Man, you don't know she do music. <laughs> Oh, okay, so if they have an understanding, oh, I uh, understanding, but go ahead. I mean, listen, because Jay Singo said understanding. Me. <laughs> oh man, babe, listen. You gotta watch if they have an understanding <laughs> of the music thing, then okay, cool. But I just thought she she wrote her eyes. I'm like, oh, she got a little attitude, but she not feeling that. Well, come on, man. She no just one, said she understands. No one. It doesn't matter. She understands. No woman on the planet wants you rapping about another woman, even but the one that hurt you and the one that you was in a relationship for years. He was in a relationship for years with Brooklyn Frost, and he making music now. And Brooklyn Sweet. Queen trying to be number one. You can't tell. Look at how her head, her head cock to the side like that while he talking. That head cock means, <sighs> nigga. I'm I, she, make a song about me. That's what that means. Why you ain't made a song about because, me? Because they just got together. He just he still he just came out of a real bad relationship. So he just came out of if you come out of a real bad relationship like that, you ain't he ain't feeling no female right now probably. Cause he's still. I told him. I told him my last video. He's yeah. wounded. He got to heal. He got to heal. He, and that's that's men think and you know that hoeing around is healing. But that's not going. It's going to make it worse. Right. What I so, tell <laughs> it is. You want to read the comments? Or, well, I mean, we got the kid. We we can move on to the Kennedy Simone ex friend. He's yeah yeah yeah. We don't have to read the comments. Let me show y'all this first. This is Christian. Wood, a basketball player, right? He got a baby with Yasmin Lopez. Yasmin Lopez had old beef with Kennedy Simone, DDG's ex, okay? So, yeah, Yasmin and Kennedy had some old drama years ago. And then Yasmin tried to collab with DDG. So, we're going to watch that first. Video with you and DDG. Who's calling you? I want to do a video with him too, y'all. We're definitely going to do a video back. Sure. Well, the messy part about this whole situation is back in the day, Yasmin used to have beef with Kennedy. According to Yasmin, her and Kennedy had issues back in high school and all throughout high school. They did not like each other over some guy that Kennedy was dating. And supposedly the guy that she was dating, she blocked Yasmin off of the guy's Instagram. More than likely the guy liked Yasmin as well. But he went with Kennedy. Now this sounds like some real Jillian versus Kennedy situation. Y'all, if y'all know the story back in the day, DDG liked Jilly, but Jilly didn't like DDG. So he ended up picking Kennedy. I don't know if this is the same situation, but it kind of sounds like it. All right, I didn't know that information. I didn't know that about Jilly. But, all right, that's just the backstory about Kennedy Simone and Yasmin. So this is Yasmin's BD. He didn't popped up at T's house. T is watching Yasmin's baby, and he is trying to get his son. You with a shovel? Why are you on the side of her house? Why are you on the side of her house? Why are you on the side of her house? Why are you on the side of her house? For what? 
There's no, your kid is not here. Your kid is not here. He got a shovel. You got a shovel for what? Yeah. Beat me with a shovel? You want to beat me with a shovel? So what? He says snitch ass. <laughs> Shut up. Your son's not here. He's gone. I already told you. He's out of town. Hope you never see your baby again. <laughs> yes, she is. And I'm giving the baby to her as planned. Should I have her mom call you? Question mark. Give me my son. Now you got her number. Oh, no, she oh, is yeah. not. I really don't want to get more police involved. I don't even know her baby daddy. I'm not giving her kids to somebody I don't know. Christian Wood, look it up. I'm here outside. Give me my son. All right, call the police. Good night. I'm having her mom call you, and I'm calling the police. So this is Christian Ona in the gray, and then this is T in the blue. Mm -hmm. What's going down out there, man? <laughs> yeah, just... Oh, my life. I'm really trying to help you. I'm the legal guardian of that child. Yes, is in jail. Oh, Yasmin is in jail. You in jail, girl. If you refuse to give me my son, they will say it's kidnapping. I hope he's strapped. I'm going to see you around. I know who you are. should have stayed out of it. And then T said, you may see me around, but you won't see them around because they leaving out of town. Thanks for all those threats, though, Laker. I'm going to send this to Jenny. My team My team will be in touch. This is, yeah, say, we looking at, I'm looking at it as like, oh, this is, you know, but this, this is, is real life. Yeah. <laughs> it's really going down, baby. It's, I got to snap, snap out of it. Snap out of it. This, ain't, this is I'm serious. I'm like in my peaceful bubble. Get serious, nah. Okay. So what else happened? Okay, this is the police. So he called the police, and this is just a picture of Christian talking to the police. And the Yasmin is in jail, so that's why T got the baby. And T probably just telling Christian, your baby ain't here, to get him to leave. But he probably called when that T is watching the baby. So I was like, my friend, look, this is what T said. My friend wanted to go to dinner, so I babysit her son. All of a sudden, this man shows up at my house. Telling me to give him his son. I never met this man a day in my life. If if Fumbo a family and Fumbo a contract was a person, I would never give my friend's son to somebody I don't know. At 5 a.m. in the morning, especially if they're having a dispute. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, I mean, that's it. That's all we have. Let's see. Uh, T.O., what are you doing over here in the comments, T.O.? Huh? Huh? It's not yeah, funny. Them, it's not them funny. Comments, boy. What's it going on here? Tr trade them? <laughs> Yeah, he said trade him. He said how she got his number and don't know him. You did the right thing. If my friend told me to look after her kid, that means I'm the guardian to my friend says otherwise. Now, that's facts, though. Imagine a random person you don't know telling you you can't get your son. That's crazy, too. To say I hope you never see your baby again is wild to me. I mean, listen, they in the heat of the moment. They're humans and they're on Earth. <laughs> I, I that's what I expect. In the heat of the moment, she don't know what he about to do, so she's feels threatened because this is a big seven foot ninja, you know, with a shovel at the door. He could re literally put that shovel through the window and be in the house in two seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so she could be scared, and he's trying to figure out what's going on because like she's recording everything, so it can look bad because you know they're gonna believe every woman every second of the day, especially the NBA. And so that can mess up his, you know what I'm saying? Like, he a Lakers. Lakers don't play that at all. So it's like, it's getting serious. And she clearly knows. She said, Jenny, who Jenny? She know who to call to get you in trouble. Jeannie, with, well, Jeannie Buss. That's, that? Anybody in NBA knows. She's the one that, uh, Jeannie Buss, the owner. Exactly. One of, like, the you? owner of that Lakers, I think. <laughs> the Lakers yeah. owner, Jeannie yeah, Buss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let us know what y'all think in the comments. This is crazy. Hopefully you guys get that situated. Um, I have no words. Do we end it? Yeah. We'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more.